Yes, I certainly think that it's a strategy that most cities can use, um, and it's a strategy that many cities are using and continue to look at. Um, it's a strategy that, from the standpoint of the United States, uh, has most easily taken in areas that are much more dense in population, have issues in terms of the ability or problems with landfilling, um, and are looking at sort of are looking at a situation in which they do not have to transport the waste uh, vast uh, distances. Um, it's also a technology that's been evolving over the years, and uh, there are many new developments in this technology, and moving in many ways direction uh, to be able to apply this technology to uh, a smaller size waste stream uh, than has been so in the past, uh, as well as different types of waste conversion technologies that are coming down the pike. So it's actually not only is it a strategy that has real import for the current, but looking forward, it's a strategy that will definitely present itself to uh, additional areas of the United States. Sure. Well, I think it, in the waste management hierarchy, obviously, it fits uh, below recycling and composting and above landfilling uh, as a preferred means of recapturing uh, some of the waste uh, that we're disposing of. Uh, the, the opposition that I often hear to placed in urban areas is based on a lot of older thinking from before uh, the MAC standards went into place. Uh, people are concerned that it's uh, maybe causing air pollution or leading to health problems and uh, that really is no longer the case. Uh, the data don't support that. Uh, so as a solution then the next question is, is does it contribute to climate change and that's really where I began to get into the conversation and the majority, more than 50% of the waste that is uh, burned in waste energy facilities is already part of the short carbon cycle, uh, in which case it, it has an organic derivative and it's, uh, it doesn't add to climate change uh, to begin with. The long form carbon that is burned, uh, things like plastics that have come out of uh, the ground in the form of oil, uh, do add to climate change, uh, but they've already been used once, they've already been extracted once, and what we're doing is taking the energy out of them after that physical use, recapturing some of that, thereby offsetting uh, carbon, uh, more carbon from natural gas or oil or coal. Uh, so the net effect is a reduction in uh, carbon emissions. Uh, so that's uh, kind of my view of, of really where it sits as far as a health, environmental, and uh, climate change uh, hierarchy. Yes, I would say we have to be careful with uh, uh, reducing our thinking to just a plain hierarchy. Yeah, it should be obvious that uh, waste uh, waste management is an issue of culture, also referring to how efficient we are about prevention and reuse. Yeah? I just give you the example. I like to drink water. Here you see the picture. I don't need plastic bottles for it. And our tap water is of high quality and we use nice glasses and not plastic cups. Now, just to give you a little idea. Um, waste to energy and recycling are complementary and I would say depending yeah, on the results of um, analysis based on first and second law of thermodynamics which are absolutely uh, valid. One can decide in specific situations whether waste to energy or whether some type of recycling technology would be more appropriate. Yeah? It's not an either or to our experience in municipal waste management, it is an end. Yeah? I sometimes compare it with having two strong legs in order to walk or to run. One leg is recycling, the other leg is waste to energy. But above all to consider how much waste do we need to produce. And the worst thing we can uh, experience of what we are observing nowadays is pollution of the oceans with garbage and incredible landfills. And I would like to mention that in my country it was possible and I was actively involved in it to have an absolute ban on landfilling wastes exceeding 5% organic carbon 
This is written in law since 96. There were some exceptions for some period of time, but landfills of organic wastes are just banned, not just in Austria, but also in other uh, cultures similarly to the Austrian ones like Switzerland and Germany.